Hi everybody, uh, it's Kim Bergen Jackson here for the weekly update. I'm taping on Thursday, November 9th, and you get me two weeks this time because Steve will be on vacation next week. So uh, we can look forward to seeing each other at least twice. Uh, I have a lot to talk about, so I think I'll get the COVID update out of the way. We still have one staff person from the health center who is COVID positive and isolating at home, and two residents in the health center who are isolating. Uh, they are all mildly ill, I'm glad to say. Um, I was at the national conference this week with Steve and there is an increase in COVID cases across the nation. And uh, for those people who did not receive their vaccine, they are more sick than our residents are here. So I'm glad everybody got vaccinated. If you haven't yet received the 2023, 2024 updated COVID vaccine, I would recommend that you get it because if you have not received the vaccine, people are um, sicker and there are more hospitalizations of those individuals. So um, that that's a good frame of reference for me to have to go out and talk to people from other places and see how everybody's doing. So. Uh, we're trying to contain it. Uh, I think we're doing a great job. Staff are still wearing masks in the health center and assisted living until we are done testing. And I believe we're going to test today. And if everyone's negative today, we'll be out of testing. So um, just a good reminder, wash your hands, wear a mask if you're around a bunch of people you don't know. And um, if you're symptomatic, get tested, I guess is my advice uh, to you for that. Also, uh, in the season for influenza, we do not have any influenza cases here at Oak Knoll. I'm glad to say that. And they're also having the RSV vaccine. So uh, I would like to talk about a couple other things. Um, so yesterday, uh, Wednesday, was the AL Thanksgiving tradition. I was not here. Sadly, Steve and I were both in Chicago, but it's a great tradition that we've been doing for a number of years. And so I'm really glad uh, that that happened. And thanks to the staff who brought in side dishes and pie and bread and all of the things. And thanks to our dining staff who make the turkeys. So um, it seems early to me for Thanksgiving this year, but as you know, Thanksgiving's coming early. So uh, I guess it's time for us to get in the holiday season. So uh, get your get your holiday lists ready. Uh, so that happened. And then on Friday last week, there was the hoedown throwdown. Sorry again that I missed that on Thursday, but I saw pictures online on our Oak Knoll site, on Facebook and on our website. Uh, check it out. It looks like it was a super event. And if there's one thing I know about Oak Knoll, it is that we know how to throw a party. So many, many thanks to the staff uh, who planned and carried out that party. A special recognition to Bruce, who I think built the um, swinging doors. Uh, that is so crafty and I'm so impressed. And there were, I mean, it was just, it just looked perfect. So I'm glad uh, if you went, I hope you had a really great time. And if you didn't go, I hope you consider going to the next party because we throw a heck of a party here. Um, so uh, let's talk about the Leading Age Conference. So Steve and I attended the annual meeting for Leading Age, which is our professional organization that Oak Knoll belongs to. But we had special guests this year because the Oak Notes Choir came to open the conference and we sent 20 staff and 40 residents to Chicago uh, on a, on a um, charter bus with a lovely driver named Zach, uh, who, who was just perfect for us. He just did a wonderful job. Um, I can't thank the staff enough for all their hard work and coordination and willingness to do just about anything. Uh, it is a crazy idea to bring 40 residents from Iowa City to Chicago. Uh, it, it's even crazier to think about all of the nitty gritty details that everybody worked on, but it went off without a hitch. I think the residents had a blast. Um, I think Leading Age was really surprised that they were there and really touched um, by the singing. They sounded beautiful in this huge hall and they uh, sang in front of 6,000 people. Uh, it was pretty emotional for me. And then Megan Ross spoke beautifully um, from her heart because our teleprompter died. And so our what we wrote to say... <laughs> didn't exist. And so we went off the cuff. And uh, now I know that Megan can um, speak uh, at the drop of a hat if she has to. 
Uh, so it was really a wonderful opportunity to highlight the importance of music therapy and encourage those 6,000 people to hire a music therapist if they haven't already for their community because there are riches to be found um, in having a program like that. Now, not everybody will get a music therapist that's like our Megan, so I want to pay special attention and thank Megan for all her work over the past seven years and developing the incredible program that we have here. And I never want to take anything for granted, so I know that lots of places do not have music therapists, and so I feel really um, honored and special to have Megan here. And so if you see Megan Ross in the hallways, give her a big hug and a thumbs up because she did a spectacular job. And thanks to her husband, Matt, who kept her calm and went on the trip with us and told me he was almost convinced to go into senior living because he was so inspired. So um, it is a highlight of my professional career for sure and something I hope we talk about for years to come. <clears throat> and more importantly, I hope other people talk about it. So Steve and I stayed for the rest of the conference and the staff and the residents left on Monday afternoon. And I bet a thousand people came up to me over the next two days to tell me how incredible the performance was, how awesome it was to have residents at the conference and to have them sing. Um, it, it just uh, exceeded all of my expectations. And so thanks to all of you who were willing to go on this wild ride with me. And um, thanks for Steve for never saying no when I say something crazy. So um, really a heartfelt thank you to everybody. And, and once again, I'm reminded that Oak Knoll is unique in that we, uh, we consider how to do things, not, not just say no right away. So um, also really thankful to the staff who came who were uh, extra mindful to make sure that the residents were happy and treated like royalty while we were there. And so I, I could never thank anybody enough for all their efforts to make this seem seamless. It just seemed like it was easy as pie. And I know there was a lot of luggage carried around and a lot of coordination going on and a lot of text messages among the staff just to make sure everything was fine. But holy moly, do we have an amazing staff. We sure do. And I know we do. I know it every day, but to see it in action when we're in downtown Chicago uh, was just insane. So thanks to them for that. We will receive a copy of the professional recording of that performance, and I'll give it to Kim Herring as soon as it comes, and we'll get it up so everybody can see it. But if you are interested, there are snippets of it posted on our social media, um, some brief videos and lots of pictures. Uh, yeah, so that's what I have to say about that. Super awesome. Um, and amazing. Uh, the conference, of course, uh, 6,000 people attended. Uh, it's the highest attendance they've had at a conference since COVID, but it isn't as high as usual. Usually they're around 8,000. So next year is in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm hoping that the numbers will go up for participants, but um, learned some good things, had a lot of really great conversations about senior living. And um, so we'll be trying to implement some of our new ideas from the conference. Um, the last thing I wanted to talk about is Veterans Day. Veterans Day is November 11th. Of course, Oak Knoll is having a celebration tomorrow, Friday, November 10th at 11 a.m. in the Hyden Room. And I personally would like to thank you for your service if you are retired military. Um, really uh, grateful for your service and uh, your help in creating the country that we have, even when we don't, dis we, we don't agree on everything. Um, it's a wonderful country to live in, and, and that is because of your service and willingness to sacrifice for the country. And thank you to your, your families as well, because we know it's not just the person who's in the military, but their whole family who's impacted by their service. So thank you very much. Please attend the event tomorrow if you um, are so inclined. Again, it's at 11 o'clock in the Hyden Room, and uh, it's just to honor our uh, veterans. So thanks to David Anson. Uh, who's on the staff, who has a military background. He was in the Navy, as I think we all know, but thanks to David for his service and anyone else on the staff who has service that I didn't mention. That's it for this week. It seems like a lot. Um, I'm very grateful to be back home and I'm not planning to go anywhere for a while. So uh, check in with me when you see me and uh, otherwise I'll see you next week while Steve's on vacation. Thank you.